、安心64プレゼント。Welcome to Unseen 64, the home for beta, canceled, and unseen games. There are thousands of interesting games we'll never have the opportunity to play, some of which might not even be known to the general public. Unseen 64 is dedicated to preserving and telling the untold stories of these games. And today we're talking about the cancelled game, Phoenix. Before Bungie became popular among console gamers, thanks to the huge franchises such as Halo or Destiny, in the early 90s the studio was focused on creating games for Mac computers. In 1994, their first hit was a classic sci fi first person shooter titled Marathon, that set the tone for what would become the Halo series many years later. At the time, Jason Jones, Bungie's co founder, along with Alex Seropian, had the idea of creating a fantasy tactical role playing game where you fight against huge armies of characters. It was a project nicknamed the Giant Bloody War Game. Inspired by movies such as Braveheart and fantasy novels such as The Black Company. This was the conception of Myth, The Fallen Lords, a game that became another big success for Bungie, and a forerunner of the many innovations for the real time strategy genre in 1997. Bungie was officially purchased by Microsoft in the year 2000, when the company was trying to acquire developers to create exclusive games for their debut console, the Xbox. The Myth franchise was transferred to its publisher, Take Two Interactive. But Microsoft and Bungie did not forget their RTS fans, and were already planning a new tactical RPG that would have revolutionized the genre on consoles. This new project was internally known as Phoenix, and it would have been one of the first exclusive Xbox games by Bungie. Existence of the Phoenix Project was speculated by fans as early as September 1999, when Bungie posted a series of photos from their annual company picnic with notes about the team formerly known as Myth 2, implying that the same people were working on a new game. Phoenix was conceived as an over the top action strategy game that focused on siege warfare, with a revolutionary real time brick by brick castle and environment destruction system. Players would begin the battle as either a defender or attacker, deploying a wide array of forces and assault, or defend a completely destroyable castle and deformable battlefield. Six different races were planned, such as humans, Goblins, dwarves, undead, trolls, and elves, each with its own units, weapons, magic, and classes that could be combined for permutations of strategic variety. War machines and siege engines would also be available for both armies and advanced levels, giving even more firepower to bypass all the terrain obstacles, breach the walls, and destroy the keep. Or more fortifications to defend the castle. Levels would be split into multiple days, and after each day, players would be able to upgrade and add additional forces to their current troop types, allowing them to change tactics for a more evolving gameplay style. On top of all of this, Phoenix was planned to carry on Myth's acclaimed storyline, and Bungie wanted to expand the lore even more. Phoenix was to have a single player campaign heavily inspired by classic role playing games, which was also to feature a complex plot and cinematic cutscenes. Unfortunately, while the Phoenix team was working hard on their ambitious real time strategy, Halo became the major focus for Bungie. They had to complete the game in time for the launch of the Xbox, planned for November 2001. Bungie West had just finished Oni when they were put on the development for Halo's famous multiplayer mode, and the team working on Phoenix had to stop development to help complete Halo in time for the launch. However, after the success of Halo, Bungie was asked by Microsoft to start development on Halo 2, and this large project meant the team could not return to the development of Phoenix. You could say the project was unable to rise from the ashes, 
and this marked the end of Bungie's revolutionary strategy RPG. But Bungie did not forget Phoenix during all those years. They added a related easter egg in Halo 3, the Vanguard achievement that is obtained when players earn 50,000 points while playing the metagame on the Covenant level is, in fact, the original Phoenix logo. And that's all for this video, but there's still plenty more to learn about the development of Phoenix. You can read more about Phoenix and other cancelled games in the Unseen 64 book, Video Games You Will Never Play, available on Amazon and CreateSpace. Check out the video description below for more details. Unseen 64 is an independent collective of gamers from all around the world, and on our website we remembered cancelled, beta, and unseen games. Please consider to support Unseen 64 on Patreon. To help us keep the site online, and help us preserve more games that could be forgotten. Your support is very appreciated.